Hostinger now has AI built into it and it's called Cody. It can actually modify things inside of WordPress via the chat that's inside of your WordPress site. So it's not only about just talking to it and understanding how to do something, troubleshooting. It can actually modify things in WordPress. I especially find it useful in WooCommerce, especially if you have a ton of products. This can save you a lot of time. So let me show you how it works. So this is Hostinger. And if you are currently looking to have Cody on your WordPress site to start modifying things, I recommend that you grab one of their hosting plans. So go ahead and jump over to the link in the description. Go to services, go to manage hosting for WordPress, and this will have the AI feature that I'm going to show you today, which is Cody. They have several plans available that you can start using right now, but I do recommend that you grab the business plan or above because it's going to have the most features. Plus, you're going to take advantage of the AI feature. So if you grab right now this $399 plan a month, it's going to be even lower with my coupon code. So the first thing that Hostinger is going to ask you is how many months do you want to pay in advance? I recommend 48 months because you're going to lock in the lowest price and the lowest renewal price. Plus, you'll be good to go for four years. Now, this is the current pricing, but if you click on half a coupon code and type in my code or paste it in SAS Master, the price is going to drop to $172 with 37 cents. Remember, that's for four years paid off. OK, so jump into my WordPress site and I have Cody available here. Now, be aware that once you get Cody on your we website, you can only talk to it, but it won't make any actions in order for it to make actions. You need to enable it to have access to your WordPress site. So inside of the WordPress site, go to the hosting your tab on the left, the menu, and we are going to go into tools and in tools. We're going to scroll down here and we are going to go into AI tools and we're going to allow Cody to manage your website. If you don't have this enabled, it will only be able to talk to you and give you guidance, but it won't make any actions. OK, so as I mentioned, I especially find this one useful for the WooCommerce products because I think this is where it's going to shine the most. And I do think it's going to save you a ton of time. Now, in this case, I have a few products, but if you have a website with a ton of products, you can actually make changes like, you know what, make changes to every single product on this category. Imagine that like, hey, you know what? raise the price for one dollar for all the products in a certain category and it'll do it so that's pretty cool right so let's go ahead and ask cody here i want to raise the products by five percent all of them okay so let me go ahead and do it right here so i'm going to ask it for all the products okay so i'm going to keep it really simple let's see if it's going to ask me a secondary question to see if it's going to get it right okay now, right now, Cody is kind of in beta. It went out of beta, but it still has a few tweaking things that it needs to do in order for it to really have all its potential unleashed, but it's getting started. So to update all products by 5%, I'll need to know approximately how many products you have as this process requires multiple steps. Okay. So in this case, I have three, four, five, five products. I have five products. Here we go. Let's go ahead and set that up. Remember, it should increase by 5%. It might have another question, but let's wait and see if it's going to do the job. Now, I've noticed something here on Cody is that, for example, when I do certain tasks, I don't see it reflect like initially, but I do see it reflect in like, I don't know, like a couple, couple minutes, three minutes. Okay. So all products have been increased by 5%. So check out these prices here. I'm going to refresh the page. Remember, we are on the products. And here we go. They have been increased by 5%. Now imagine doing that manually. That will take you a lot of time going into each one of these products and increasing 5% or going into individual products by category and increasing a 5%. I mean, you'll have to do like calculation and up increase the price. In this case, it'll do it automatically via the AI. So just a quick, super easy task that it can do. Now I want to add a tag to a product. Now, since I have products that are actually named the same, this one and this one is the same and this one and this one has the same. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to guide by the product ID. So I am going to add a tag to this product, which is ID 15. OK, so add a tag ID 15. OK, so let's go ahead and kick this off and see if it does it for us. That means that I'm not going to need to jump into the editing feature on the product. And I want to manually go into tags and add the tag and publish it. This should do it for me. OK, so the tag test has been added to the product with ID 15. It also gave me a description of that one. So we are correct. That is the description for that product. 
uh if you need to add more tags or need further changes just let me know okay so i'm gonna say update while the tag takes effect because i've seen that it takes a bit wow so update the description here we go i'm gonna add my country which is mexico premium bean so let's go ahead and kick this off and let's see if it updates the description here so the title for this now that's an, a quick fix i could go to quick edit and do this really quickly but having it do this for me will make it much easier so it knows i'm on id 15 we're talking about the same product and it should update it, okay so let's go ahead and refresh here we go and let's see if it's, the changes have reflected okay so the change for the tag has been added to this product but it hasn't updated the description so as i mentioned it might take a few seconds for certain tasks to be made here okay now i'm gonna try something out let's go ahead and send something to trash so send to trash i'm gonna say uh this one id 17 okay send to trash the product with id and what was it 17 okay product id 17 let's see if it can do that remember i'm running this test with you along so you actually understand what you're gonna get with the plugin here with cody okay so it's doing its job here and while that is being done we'll wait if that one updates here with the with the description okay so the product this one has been moved to trash let me know if you need any help all right so let's go ahead and refresh this here we go product 17 is now gone so it's not there anymore but we still haven't seen the reflected changes for the title or maybe it changed the title somewhere else and not here let me go ahead and jump into edit okay it's not updated here and that's basically about it so we want to add let's do for example uh add a category okay so let's do a category for this one let me go back into the main section of, of products you don't actually have to be here but it just saves me time so for id 19 let's add a category here we go okay so first off i'm gonna create a category i don't want to do two steps in one i haven't tested it out but it might have some bad effects there like maybe it won't apply it so first let me go ahead and create the category and then i'll go ahead and add it to one of these products okay so here we go the woocommerce so we got the coffee category here let's go into categories on my woocommerce products and here we go we got that category there let's go back into all our products here we go so um add to category id 19 to coffee i mean that's a really super short description so i need to make sure that might even work maybe i have to be more specific but let's go ahead and test it out okay so maybe that didn't work like i wanted to let's go ahead and refresh this because it didn't even oh here we go it did do it but the chat didn't update with my response okay so once i refresh it did update the chat here with my latest request and it did add it to the category so overall this is pretty cool right so let's go ahead and see if it can create something here so for example a brand okay can you create a brand on woocommerce that is and i'm gonna say something for category i'm gonna say ario here we go let's go ahead and kick this off and see if it's gonna create a brand for me so if it can create a brand and i can tie products to a brand that's pretty cool right so uh after this test what i'm gonna do if it creates the brand i'm gonna tell it to add it to all the products that i have here if that's possible that's gonna save me a lot of time in the future okay here we go so it updated the chat here but it didn't give me the correct response let's go ahead and refresh to see if it actually got it right to start with so let's jump into the chat and i didn't get a response here but maybe it did create the brand so let's go into brand no in this case it didn't but i do have my doubts if it's gonna do it in a few seconds so let me go ahead and do this again to see what's going to happen with a different category and i'm gonna say eureka let's go ahead and send this off to see if it'll it'll do it because what kind of alerts me here is that I, I didn't get a response from cody so cody didn't actually tell me it did it so i have my doubts here so let's give this a few seconds okay so let's go ahead and refresh this again i didn't get it i didn't get an updated response here but let's go ahead and see and 
Okay, so it seems it got both chats, the both requests here for the brand. So let's go into brand. And here we go. It did create the brand. So we are good to go. So since I didn't receive the response when I asked it to add Ariel, the Ariel, it didn't actually do it. But when I asked for Eureka, it understand like I like I sent the, the one chat, the two of them at the same time. And now it did add both. So add the brand Ariel to all my products. And I'm actually going to take a few steps here All my five products. Well, it's actually four now, right? So all my four products. Okay, so let's go ahead and kick this off. And that's going to be the last test for the WooCommerce for Cody. So let's see if it's actually going to do it. But I mean, if it can do this now that it's practically barely launched, what is it going to be capable of doing in the future? I mean, a couple months, five months, six months, it's going to do a whole lot of things in WordPress. So it's going to get crazy. So again, let's go to refresh this. Let's see if we got a response from Cody. Okay, it said it did. So let's go ahead and jump into one of these products. Oh, it's actually, I can view it over here on the left. So here on the products, on the whole products, I can view here. All of them have been added to the Ario brand. That's a huge time saver. I mean, in this case, we're just working with four or five products. But if you have 100, 1,000 products where you can say, you know what, add the discount to this, okay, this category, do this, do that, things that are more complex, like reducing it 5% or up increasing 5%. Doing the calculation for these is super time consuming. So doing this with Cody is a winner for me. So if it can do this now, I'm, I can only imagine what it will be capable of doing in the future. But there you go, that is Cody. Definitely take advantage of Cody if you plan to grab a hosting plan. Don't forget to use my coupon code SASMaster, which is going to give you a discount and it's gonna save you a lot of time using Cody. So that's a wrap.